Today we're rethinking the way we approach skincare and specifically the way we use vitamin A. So before we get into anything experimental or what if, let's have a little refresher. So retinaldehyde, we're gonna talk about retinaldehyde today or retinal for short, that's with an A-L. It is a form of vitamin A that sits one conversion step away from retinoic acid, which is tretinoin. Now that means that it is significantly more potent than retinol with an O-L but it's still much more gentle than prescription tretinoin. It's kind of the sweet spot in the vitamin A family. Now people love retinaldehyde because it can help with a whole range of skin goals. It can help with fine lines, texture, pigmentation, dullness, and even mild breakouts. It is great for people who want meaningful anti-aging or pro-aging results, but can't tolerate tretinoin or don't want that long initial adjustment period, or they wanna cycle so that they get vitamin A on board nightly like I do. That's why I love retinaldehyde. It is just my crutch when I'm not using my tretinoin. So in my last retinoid video, I referenced a study where retinaldehyde was used twice a day for three months. And several of you messaged me and commented under the video saying, wait, twice a day? They, they used it twice a day? Can you actually do that? Now that little detail in that study definitely caught some attention. And honestly, it sparked <laughs> this entire video and a bunch of studying on my part. Because if retinaldehyde is gentler, if it is less irritating and more photostable than tretinoin, could some people use it in the morning? So there's this randomized controlled trial, which is what we talked about in the retinoid video from 2018, where participants used 0.05 or 0.1 retinaldehyde twice a day for 12 weeks, so three months. And they found significant improvements in their texture, lower transepidermal water loss, so better barrier, an increase in hydration, and the 0.1 even improved pigmentation. So tons of results in three months by using it twice a day. And most importantly, the products were really well tolerated even using them twice a day. So this study is really what opened the door to even thinking about morning retinaldehydes. I mean, I knew you could technically use them in the morning, but I never really thought about using them twice a day. Now, I am not saying that everyone should start doing this, but let's talk about the science behind the idea. So retinaldehyde is more photostable than tretinoin, less likely to cause irritation. It does not significantly increase photosensitivity the way that tretinoin does. Still gotta wear your sunscreen. It converts to tretinoin only within the skin, so there's less of it sitting on the surface reacting with the sunlight. And there's also papers showing that retinaldehyde doesn't degrade under UV in the dramatic way that tretinoin does, and it doesn't cause exactly the same sun sensitivity concerns, although again, you need to wear your sunscreen. So you might be a good candidate if your skin already tolerates retinaldehyde beautifully at night. You don't flush, burn, or peel easily. Your routine is simple and easy to add something else in. And if you are diligent with your SPF, that's really, really important. And if you already know your sensitivity level, you probably shouldn't try this if you're reactive. If you're on prescription tretinoin like nightly, I don't know that I'd add in morning use. I just don't know that you need that. If you have a damaged barrier, if you're dealing with eczema or perioral dermatitis or a rosacea flare, any of those, I probably wouldn't try this either. And if SVF is kind of like a, a you know, maybe for you, then this isn't good either. You have to be a diligent sunscreen user. So should you try it? Maybe. If your skin tolerates retinaldehyde extremely well and you're curious, I think that some people could experiment with morning retinaldehyde once or twice a week to start. But if you start it and you try it and your skin complains, don't be a hero. Just stop immediately. This is definitely not the time to push through irritation. There's just no need for that. But if you are someone who wants a way to increase your vitamin A, maybe you want, you want to get to the next level. You're not quite there with the results from your nightly retinaldehyde use and you tolerate it super well, this might be a very interesting experiment for you that you hadn't thought of, a way to amp up your retinaldehyde results without uh, increasing the dosage at night, without going to tretinoin, that type of thing. Now, if I had to recommend a retinaldehyde to try, it would, it would definitely be from Medicaid. The reason for that is because they have such a fantastic range of um, strengths. 
all the way from one to three, to six, to 10, to 20, to 24. And so you really can kind of start off, if you are already tolerating it at night and you wanted to try it in the morning, you don't have to use the same strength morning and night. Like I use six, when I rotate my, um, when I rotate my Medicaid in at night, I use the number six. That's one I've liked forever. And I think for a while I graduated up to 10, but six is kind of my sweet spot that I do. I'll do a tret night. I've told you guys this so many times, but I'll do a tret night night, I'll do a retinaldehyde night, I'll probably do a retinol night, and then I do my tret again, or tret retinaldehyde, tret retinaldehyde. I just, I just listen to my skin. That's what I do. That's how I determine the night of my retinoid, is how my skin is doing. If my skin starts to get reactive, I back off and I will do a weak retinol. I'm talking like Photozyme 0.03, the, the one with Bacuchiol, that will be my retinoid night because I know irritation is the worst thing to have. I don't want that. So that's the cycle I do at night. So for me, I am going to order for Medicaid, I'm probably gonna order the three to try in the morning. And the way that I'm gonna fit this in, because I know people are gonna ask in the morning, is I'm just going to do thinnest to thickest, and this is probably going to go on pretty close to my sunscreen. So we're talking, I'm gonna do, uh, I cleanse in the morning, and then I will do an essence if I do one that day, or a mist, then I will do um, any of my serums, any of my serums will come next, and then I will do vitamin C, and then I will do a retinoid and sunscreen. Now I may for a little while just do a um, cleanse in the morning, do my serums, and then do a retinoid and sunscreen, kind of feel it out just to see. Um, I don't really wanna give up my vitamin C, but I'm, I'm trying to give you ideas for how you can incorporate this into your morning routine. It really just kind of slides in. Think of it like you were doing it at night. If you put that whole routine at night, where would you put your retinaldehyde? Just do that in the morning. So it doesn't have to come right after you cleanse your skin. It doesn't have to come, you know, just, any time in the routine that makes sense by its consistency. Now, again, I really love the Medicaid. Prequel just came out with one. They have, um, I think they have a one and they have a two, which is really interesting. Now, I would love to know if you wanna try this, if you are thinking about giving this a shot. Now, I probably will not use a retinaldehyde on the mornings after I use tretinoin at night. So if you are somebody who is following my whole cycling thing, then, I mean, just think about that. So if I use tret the night before, that next morning isn't gonna be a morning I add in another vitamin A. I will probably think about it, take consideration of my skin, of course, and then add it in maybe one or two times a week in the morning on a day when the night before was more of a gentle retinoid. So either retinol or a retinol the night before. I hope that that makes sense. Trying to answer some questions before they come in about my thought process. This is totally an experiment for me too. So this is not something I've already been doing or anything like that. It is totally an experiment, a you know little that I decided to share with you <laughs> and dive into a little bit more. So let me know down below if this is something that's interesting to you. If you are one of those that commented and then asked me about it, thank you. You inspired an entire video and you also inspired a little change in my current skincare routine that I really was loving so much. But hey, I am always all for getting additional results. And if I can amp up my vitamin A results, then um, hey, I'm all for it for sure. All right, you guys, I hope that you are having the most wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below. Say hello. I love to say hello to you in the comments and I will talk to you in my next skincare video. Take care.